May this be used by God to accelerate his agenda for transformation in you. I'm a Christian cause I'm tripping out Do whatever's true I listen to my heart Stand on my own too If you listen to his voice Ain't no limit what you do Just know that it's a choice And the choice is in you I'm a Christian cause I'm tripping out Do whatever's true I listen to my heart Stand on my own too If you listen to his voice Ain't no limit what you do Just know that it's a choice And the choice is in you all right, what's up, Facebook fam? What's up, YouTube fam? It's the man that's always two steps ahead, trying to make the next move to improve. This is Transforming Truth. God bless you. My name is Elder Marvin Lewis, and thank you for joining me on today's edition of Transforming Truth. Today is Thursday, January the 24th, 2013. Again, another glorious day in the Lord, another snowy day in the Lord, depending on where you're tuning to me from, uh, Baltimore, we actually got some snow today. And another day in which you can hear from God and what direction it is that he has for your life. I thank and praise him uh, for my lovely wife, Jackie, for my church family, God's New Beginning Church, for my pastors, Reverend Maurice T. Moore, to all the saints who tune into the Transforming Truth broadcast. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for your support. And thank Thank you for allowing your life to be blessed through the Word of God. Amen. We want to go right into the Word of God today. As you know, we have been talking about spirit, soul, and body. We still want to focus on the spirit man today. And for the sake of time, I want to go right into the Word of God to the book of St. John, chapter 16, verses number 12 through 16. <clears throat> Excuse me. Verses 12 through 16. And the Word of the Lord reads, I have yet many things to say unto you, but ye cannot bear them now. Howbeit, when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. And he will show you things to come. He shall glorify me, for he shall receive of mine, and shall show it unto you. All things that the Father hath are mine. Therefore, said I, that he shall take of mine, and, show, and shall show it unto you. A little while, and ye shall not see me, and again a little while, and ye shall see me, because I go to the Father. <clears throat> so this is Jesus Christ talking to his disciples. And in essence, what he is talking about is the coming of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, the breath of God, the third part of the Godhead, the, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> but the main part that I actually want to focus on is the fact of the relationship of the Holy Spirit to your newborn again spirit. If we look in the Word of God, verse number 12 says, I have yet many things to say unto you, but ye cannot bear them now. Now remember, this is taking place before the disciples were born again. Understand, the Holy Spirit had not yet come to dwell on the inside of born again believers. This took place after Jesus Christ died, was buried, rose again, uh, on the third day, ascended to heaven, and then sent the Holy Spirit back on the day of Pentecost. So these things in which Jesus is talking about have happened before this happened. So therefore, he's telling them, I have many things to say unto you, but you can't bear them now. The reason the disciples were not able to bear them at that particular point is because they did not have the indwelling of the Holy Spirit <clears throat> to work in conjunction with a new born-again spirit. The Holy Spirit works in conjunction, if you remember the uh, past couple teachings, the Holy Spirit works in conjunction with our new born again spirit to cause us to transform into that which God has intended for us to be. Because the spirit man, of course, again, is who it is that you actually are. So the Holy Spirit speaks to the spirit man to encourage, to, uh, to strengthen, and to guide the spirit man into who God has created you to be. And he says that he has a lot of things to say, but he they can't bear them now. Why? Because they are not yet born again. Up until this time, before Jesus Christ uh, ascended to heaven and sent back the Holy Spirit, until, up until this time, mankind had a conscience or conscious awareness of God. They had an upon experience, <clears throat> excuse me, an upon experience of the Holy Spirit but not yet his indwelling. That only took place after Jesus Christ died and was buried and rose again. 
So now, because of this, they can only receive but so much. They needed to have the indwelling Holy Spirit working in conjunction with a new born again spirit in order to receive certain things that Jesus was saying. And he says in verse 13, he says, how be it when he, the spirit of truth has come, this is talking about the Holy Spirit, is come, he will guide you into all truth. Now, how is the Holy Spirit going to guide? The Holy Spirit is going to guide not this outer man, not an unrenewed soul that may have been saved for 20 or 30, that may have been not born again for 20 or 30 years, but he's coming to guide the spirit man. Once you've given your life to Jesus Christ and you become born again, your spirit man can now receive the things that the Holy Spirit wants to say. Your spirit man can now be directed and led and guided by the Holy Spirit. It says, for he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. And he will show you things to come. See, now mankind will have the ability to receive certain things that Jesus wants to say to them because they now have a new born again spirit. I'm talking to those of us that are believers. If we have a born again spirit that now works in conjunction with the Holy Spirit, he can now speak to us those things that are going to guide our lives towards greater truth and greater knowledge and greater revelation of him because we're talking about the self-same spirit, the spirit of God working in conjunction with a new born again spirit. 14 says, he shall glorify me for he shall receive of mine and shall show it unto you. Basically, the word is going to come directly from God, directly from the heaven and, and conjunction with the Holy Spirit who is on the inside of you. And verse 15 says, all things shall take of mine, and he shall, excuse me, all things that the Father hath are mine. Therefore said I that he shall take of mine, and shall show it unto you. We're talking about a direct connection with heaven through the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit working in conjunction with your born-again spirit. Understand, this only takes place if you are born again. Only if you know Jesus Christ in the pardon of your sins. Because your spirit man is born again and can receive from heaven that which it is God wants to do and say in your life. And he says this, verse 16, A little while, and ye shall not see me. And again, a little while, and ye shall see me, because I go to my Father. So, in essence, we're talking about here the relationship that the Holy Spirit has with our new born-again spirit to cause us to transform, to cause us to receive from heaven the things that God wants to say to our lives, to guide us and direct us straight into our destiny in Him. This is another part of the importance of the spirit man, to understand this, that you cannot receive exactly what it is that heaven has intended for your life without that spirit being born again. And remember, the spirit man is just like a baby. When you're born again, it becomes just like a baby. It must be nurtured, it must be raised, it must be guided. And as the spirit man is guided and raised and nurtured and brought up in the things of God, the spirit man becomes strong. It becomes strengthened. It becomes uh, mighty in God. So now you can do the great and mighty exploits that God has intended for your life. But this can only happen as you work in conjunction with the Holy Spirit and hear from heaven and hear direction. And not only hear direction, but follow the direction in which the Holy Spirit is sending you. Amen. I thank and praise God for this word today. I thank and praise God for this teaching on spirit, soul, and body. Again, talking about the spirit, man. Join me tomorrow as we continue this teaching in spirit, soul, and body to hear from heaven and to hear what direction it is God has for our lives. And like I always tell you at the end of every broadcast, take care, be safe. And if you hear the truth, you know the truth, and you walk in that truth, this truth is going to make you free. God bless you. I grip the pain so we can say the word I need to live the day. Get me through so I can lose the pain from living day to day. In this life, can't live it twice. Only once I gotta fight. Tired of searching through this world and getting lost without a light. Getting pulled in any way. I see my dreams fade away. Holding on, I'm staying strong and letting Jesus fade away. Telling me which way to go, right or left. In the out, I spread the word in every hood. East to west, north.